is MIS really for me? What does MIS even stand for? What does it mean? Does it does MIS cover STEM extension or does it come under STEM? Does MIS require programming and coding knowledge? Does MIS require work experience? Are there jobs after doing MIS? What kind of jobs and what is the salary you get after MIS? If you have all of these questions about MIS, we can answer that in this video. Before I start talking about MIS, I want to take this opportunity to wish all of you a happy new year happy 2019 happy 2019 i hope this year you know brings a lot of joy happiness and you know you you accomplish and conquer a lot of things in your life uh, i have a separate video on 2019 and resolutions and you know things i want to do and things happened in 2018 coming right after this video but in this video we're going to talk about what is MIS and everything about MIS? Is, is it really for you? Should you get into MIS? Should you do masters in MIS? And you know, some colleges don't really have MIS. Some colleges call it MSN Information Systems, MSN Information Technology, MSN Information Management. So you'll have to kind of judge by the coursework. You have to get into the detail. You have to go into college website and see uh, you know what is their coursework look like and if it is too technical or if it is too management or if it is combination of both do you really like the coursework so we're gonna look at the different examples which i'm talking about in the coursework but before i talk about mis i really want to talk about a story a story of mine you know how i started my journey in computer science and you know programming field and now I am into project management or more more so people management and management field. So I did my SSE or 10th in 2007 or 6 and then right after that I decided to do diploma in computer technology uh, from Mumbai and then after doing diploma there's only one option which is bachelor's i did my bachelor's of engineering like be in uh, it which is information technology from dj sangvi college mumbai if you're from dj sangvi please comment i would love to see comment from dj sangvi people uh, then i got a job through campus placement as a software engineer from in cap gemini uh, and i did work for six months I think it, it was only six months I did job and then I decided I want to do masters and I did my masters in computer science from Chico State uh, Ch California State University at Chico and you know while I was doing masters in first semester I, I made a separate video that you know I was super pumped and I met a lady and and I realized that I am not really meant for programming and the reason I'm sharing my journey and the story is that it took almost six to eight years of education and work to realize that program is not programming is not really meant for me. I mean, I can program, I can write code. I've written code for you know making websites. I've written code for my college assignments, and I've I, I can do programming. If you you know ask me to do programming, I can still do programming, but I don't really enjoy it. It's it's something where I feel that okay i just have to get it done i'm gonna get it done it's not something i look forward to and you know it doesn't really excites me the reason i'm sharing this is because i get a lot of you know questions and messages and i met some of you and you know a lot of you are in the same category where you did your bachelor's in computer science or IT field where you do programming and now you really want to do management. You really want to do project management, business analyst, consultant, all kind of, you know, that not really, you want to stick to technology field, but you don't really want to code. You don't really want to write program. And that's why I recommend MIS is one of the best way to get you know get your career started in management field and you know to answer to most of the question is like you know is MIS programming field uh, is MIS really technical it's not it's it's totally you know let's let's see the definition of MIS actually and I have a computer right here uh, and I'm gonna read 
the things from the computer and while I'm reading it so you while I'm reading it you can uh, see the screen I'll put it in the editing and you'll see the screen what I'm reading through it but let's talk about what is MIS MIS is an information system used for decision making and uh, for the coordination control analysis and visualization of information in an organization especially in a company what does that mean and read the second line actually the study of management information system examines people and technology in an organizational context now what does that mean it basically in a simple language it means that you're combining technology and people together and using both and feel you know you're using business people management knowledge and technology knowledge together and you know it's used for decision making mainly for decision making and visualization which you know presentations data charts and all of that so that's basically in a very simple word that's what mis is you know used for and like i said some colleges call it manage masters in information system masters in information management masters in information technology or masters in management information system all of them are fairly similar if you are very particular that you only want to do mis go for it if you are okay with the title and degree and doesn't matter to you then you know ms and is or ms in information technology or ms and im which is information management is fairly similar and why you will see when we look at the coursework it's more you know understanding the business global issues of businesses understanding decision making project management strategy all of that is included in coursework and then there's a little bit of technology like you know current trends of technology and all of that so it's not really programming but you still into technology which is what you want to do so now let's look at the coursework and you know i'm going to pick some colleges which i you know just randomly pick this colleges when i googled ms and mis courses and this college is popped up but by no means i mean that you have to get admission in this college and this is just something it came and it was easy for me to research on to you can do the same research for the colleges you want to apply or colleges you would like to go or just colleges you are curious about so do the same research for the colleges you know you really want to get into before making a decision of mis or even before applying to the colleges so that you know what kind of coursework you are going to get into if you do masters in mis let's look at the syracuse university's mis so this is their website i just google mi ms in mis uh, the first college come was syracuse university and uh, they call it ms in information system and you know if you scroll through it somewhere i saw a curriculum so you know they also said how like what's the requirement 42 credits so you have to take nine credits primary secondary and then you know there are electives you can choose from and i clicked on there's already a tab open but you know i clicked on the curriculum which is where you can you know they have all this description information management and here are the clue here are the classes so these are the subjects which you can get management principle of information professionals now if you see basic idea concept and perspective of management as they apply this is purely management course information management and technology um still it's a technical course but it's not programming course and then again if you go maybe information so this is more see project management so this is this is where you learn something about project management enterprise risk management you know you will learn different models of risk, risk management which you will use if you go into some erp companies uh, so similarly let's look at the different college i have already a tab open this is san diego state university they call it masters of science and information system they and syracuse called it masters of ms in information management so like i said it's not really mis some colleges prefer different names so 
in this one uh, I'm gonna go to the curriculum page and you can see they are fairly similar enterprise data management and business data communication decision support system there's no like link where you can read about it but I'm, I'm pretty sure if you go and do more research you will learn more about it strategic part project management you can see that there's that's there too so you know it's fairly similar coursework in that i also found another which is csu la website where they have masters of science information systems uh, which i thought it would be similar but when i went to the coursework it's very very technical it's application programming system analysis analysis and logical design system architecture system analysis and design so I don't think you should do this course if you really want to get you know uh, if you really want to go into management field this is more technical uh, course so I, I don't recommend this course uh, so you can skip this one but then I went to uh, I think this is Sacramento State University and <clears throat> you can see uh, they have it's it's a little bit of both it's uh, technical and it's uh, you know you can see business courses and technical so so that's basically you know you have to do this research for yourself i found many websites i found you know many other courses which are very business and you know a little bit of touch of technology and that's purely and that's what MIS will you know offer you that you understand the business management people side of it decision making side of it uh, and and you know you understand you know a little bit about technology too because you can't just you know not work in technical field or technology field or IT company and not know anything about information technology or technology field so now moving on to the next one is MIS understand does it come under STEM? Yes, um, majority of colleges which says MS in MIS or MS in information management, MS in information system, information technology, all of that comes under STEM because it's still under information technology, it still comes under technology and science field. But if it is MBA in the information system or MBA in information technology or MBA in MIS, then it does not so watch out for word mba watch out for business and all of that so you know you have to really go to college website and see what does it say does it say if you're not sure email them and ask them does this come under stem or not i would email them to be very sure but i think majority of colleges uh, offer stem for msn information system or msn information management or msn mis now let's talk about the other question which is you know are there job opportunities after MIS absolutely yes there are so many jobs in this field this is a booming field a lot of people are getting into MIS so that you know we need a lot of business analysts we need a lot of software consultants software analysts because you know there are so many so much so much of data there's so much of information there's so much of everything is built on information right and to manage information and to manage system built on information we need people those are the people who graduate from mis degree so there's absolutely you know lots of lots of job opportunities after MIS. What kind of job roles and salaries can you expect from MIS course once you graduate? First thing is salary. I would say that you will get anywhere and this is you know based on your location. I think your minimum starting salary will be 60 to $65,000 per year to anywhere to $150,000 per year. You can even get more, but $150,000 per year, that's your first salary. And now again, it depends on where, which college, which company, which location. So not really college, but more on which location you are trying for. If you're in San Francisco, New York, Boston, big cities will have bigger paycheck, 
small cities will be you know around 80 90s and very small like small cities like chico will be 65 to 75 starting pay and you will grow a lot more in this field you know the roles which you will start getting into after completing mis is more on project manager that's the first one business analyst is the most common job position applied after doing mis software consultant id consultant you know it analyst uh, software analyst uh, software engineering analyst uh, risk analyst if you are working for a tool like a salesforce or more like, I, I will do a separate video on the tools specific job but salesforce is also one of the very common tool used in mi so you will learn that while doing your masters and you know you will become like a salesforce analyst salesforce developer salesforce consultant and there are big four companies which i talked about in my previous video deloitte and deloitte uh, ernst and young and pwc all those offers consultant job which means you will have a case study where you know for example deloitte got a contract to install something for google your job will be to understand the requirement what why they want to do it translate that into a document and give it to the you know your development team it's a very simple example i'm trying to do you know there's so much more background which will happen in your job role but you know that's what you will do or if you you might train uh, people in the software if you're working for like you know company who makes software and you know if they are installing your software or if they are using your company's web portal or knowledge portal then you might be a consultant on once they install once they implement the software how to use them so those kind of roles you will get in mis you know risk analyst where you once they install a software what kind of risk they have or so you know various kind of understanding the business understanding the technology and then you know assess using your decision making and you know statistics and all of those knowledge you will use through your coursework and apply to your job so those are the job roles which you will get so now moving on to one of the biggest myth is that a lot of people say that mis require work experience or job experience and you know all of that it's partially true and false both i mean it's not entirely true that without job experience or work experience you're not going to get a job that's not true because lots of students graduate with mis and lots of them have a job so it's not entirely true job getting a job after mis is really up to you how much research how much hard work talent skills you have developed through your two or two years of your mis program and how do you apply in applying jobs and getting in your interviews and all of that will help you but job experience and work experience if you haven't great i mean you know it, it's going to help you get an interview that's the maximum beneficial you will have it's not going to get your job it's going to get you an interview but if you don't then don't be discouraged don't be demotivated it's not that you're not going to get job you 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 have to have work experience some colleges will ask for it look at the requirements some colleges will be okay but if you don't then the two years of your masters when you are doing improve your profile during that time get involved in you know you know talks and career fairs and you know, just get involved in many things in on campus or with startups and do something help in you know personal pro develop your personal projects and or do some case study work for free for startups or volunteer for some startups those kind of things will help you build a story in your interviews i'll make a video on mis interviews questions and your know, tips and tricks and all of that but this is just more about is mis really for you so not really sure that if it's going to require job experience or not i think you'll be fine if you don't have job experience if you have it's great it's like a cherry on a cake summarizing and concluding is mis really for you should you do mis if you have passion for management if you really understand how things work uh, you know think of it in a game what kind of role do you like to play do you like to you know solve the puzzle or do you like to help coordinate things 
if you are more on a coordination type then you know and mys is really for you because that's what you will do majority of time uh, you know if you really like the people and management side of of technology field you know sometimes you want you want to be a product management you don't want to code but you have great ideas if if you look at the app and you think about it if they did something you know like this in this app it would be great that's more on management side you you have idea and vision but you don't really want to work you don't want to code but you have idea and vision so that's more product management side uh, if you if you are better at solving problems through scheduling and you know like let's say you see people struggling with let's say best trip if you are a trip planner like you know when you are in a group you really try to plan your trip you know you think about things you need gonna need and bookings and hotels and what you're gonna do all this like planning so that's project management that's you know that's event management so you could uh worst thing is required gathering you know that's business analyst where what kind of things are we gonna require if you go to you know whatever lunabla or whatever trip you plan so i think understand yourself uh, do you really enjoy the people and management and if you're really passionate about it put your hundred percent into it really 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 focus on to your coursework and do the research before you apply to the college understand what kind of you know is it technical or is it more business related or management related if it is then go for it and if you want to go into get into more technical then definitely apply to technical courses as well but really spend that two years when you get into mis is you know growing your profile growing yourself because when you get into MIS, uh, communication skills are going to be the most important for getting a job. You know, how do you communicate? Because your role will be to talk to people, to talk to clients, to talk to customers. And if you're not really good communicator, then, you know, MIS is, I mean, you might not be successful. But if you're not good right now, and if you develop your communication skills, it's not said that you you cannot develop it. You can develop your communication skills and personal skills and people skills during your masters and you know work on that and you will be guaranteed successful in a MIS course. I think that should help answer your question that is MIS really for you or not? And I hope it did answer. And if it's not, if it still did not answer your question, then DM me on Instagram and I'll try to answer some of your personal questions there. And until our next video, keep smiling, keep hustling.